Hey guys, Jeremy at Gilbrook Farm. It's been a while since I made a video. Uh, we've been super busy around here doing a lot of crazy exciting things that hopefully we can talk about very soon. But today, I figured I'd make a video about what I'm doing and that is putting a new exhaust on this truck. Uh, we traded in Jamie's Challenger a couple months ago uh, and ended up finding a great deal on this F-150. It's a 2005, had only like 60,000 miles on it. And uh, so we picked it up. It was uh, originally from Hawaii, so it was good, uh, you know, no rust and anything like that, except for the exhaust. The exhaust is completely shot. So I ordered a new Flowmaster, what is it, American Thunder off Amazon, and we're gonna bolt that on and then hopefully weld it together at some point. So that's all we're doing today. So it just came in this box and that's what we got to work with. And then we got this muffler and it came in that box. And here's another piece. Okay, so I'm gonna get all this stuff laid out and see if we can make sense of the spaghetti mess. I got my hair all pulled up in this do-rag because uh, I was underneath here, had my hair in a ponytail and almost ended up getting it wound up in the creeper wheel and that sucked. So I almost ended up chopping it off with a knife. That's why it's up here. Some chicken keeps laying right at the door. It's like, I can't figure out where the nest box is. Micro pull it egg. They need to figure their stuff out. <laughs> this little baby egg. This little small pipe is for if you have a regular cab, short bed, and this bigger pipe is if you have an extended cab, six and a half foot bed, or a long bed, short cab, two different pipes. Luckily, we have a extended cab with a mid-sized bed, six and a half foot bed, so we don't have to cut any pipe. We just use, I think that one, and then it comes with those fancy little chrome tips. And these are if you want to have the exhaust exit to the side, which we don't. So we're going to use these ones, which exit out the back. Right now, this is what we're dealing with. This was a dual side exit, and one of the exhaust pipes just fell off the muffler. So it's pretty rusted and pretty beat up. And uh, so we're going to get under there and cut this beast off. Now you're stuck. This is a BAP, otherwise known as a big ass pipe. These are two bolts are clamping this uh, existing exhaust to the inlet pipe. These are the catalytic converters. So our exhaust needs to go from here back. All this is in pretty good shape. But I gotta get these bolts off. And they are pretty well rusted on. So I sprayed them with WD-40 and big ass pipe to the rescue. Well, 
That sucked, but it was easier than I thought it would be. Then we gotta get the other one. Can you lose easy? Alright, now I need a big ass screwdriver. This one? No, big ass screwdriver. Is it keeping it from hitting the body? Yeah. Okay. How's that? Pretty rusted. Oops. <laughs> All right, well, this thing is getting cut. That's one way to do it. It's pretty good shape under here. I just gotta get this out of this hanger and then I think we got it, but what a pain, man. All right, I finally got this stupid muffler out of this rubber clamp. So the whole reason we had to replace this was because this flange rusted out on this side and the whole tailpipe fell off. This one I had to cut off to get it out, so good thing we bought a whole new system because this was junk. Tailpipe. Oh. Man, this is all rusted. Hmm. First pipe. Let's see if we can get that beast on there. Okay, so this is supposed to slide over the factory. Uh, y pipe and there's a little um, nub right here it's like a little stud that this notch slides onto like this I think I have gloves on because that would have hurt I had to relocate the factory rubber exhaust mount from the frame to this cross member which there's another um, set of mounting holes so you're able to do that so th that I could get this hanger right there and that fits exactly like it's supposed to which is cool now just tighten this up and then we got our inlet pipe on and that's that that's the factory rubber mount that I relocated to that cross member it's like almost impossible to get under here to get any shots okay now we do the muffler and we gotta put this big three inch clamp uh, I don't know if we put it on the pipe side Got our jack stand, because this muffler is a little bit heavy. Get this bad boy on here. 
but yeah, this gives it a muffler part. Slide that on there. Sort of. Well, that's kind of pointless. Not the right socket. Which I can't see. Can't pick my head up. Guess number one wrong. Guess number two, right on. Go get your key and start this thing. Let's see what it sounds like. Not with you under here. Well, I'll move. That is all him. I'm all about quiet and stealth. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Boy toys. That is not me. I just want to go on record as saying. It's the same as what you had. Yeah, the other one was too growly. This one's growlier. Look, this is like... The other one was a hooker. That was a hooker muffler. Now you have American Thunder. I'm a prepper. I believe in quietness. <laughs> Not in like making obnoxious noise going down the street. Just... <laughs> How embarrassing is that going to be? Pulling into like It's going to be Walmart. awesome. My growling truck. Why do you have a skull on your truck? Grr. Alright, so this is a um, hanger I had to install on the driver's side frame by the spare tire this comes with the the system the exhaust system and you gotta get the bolt up in there inside the frame using a little magnet flexible head magnet so that was a little bit of a challenge but once you get the bolt up in there and coming down out of the frame you can get this hanger on and then there's a rubber shock mount bushing doodad comes with it and you stick that on there like so all right so now we got a hanger for our driver's side tailpipe okay next step put the tailpipes onto the muffler let's put these two and a half inch clamp well clamps onto the outlet Get that all ready to go. Good thing you're a skinny little dude. Dude, this is ridiculous. I'm all stuck on something. Oh, yeah, you're off the sidewalk. Your whole thing's off the sidewalk. That's gonna be a predicament. I can't get you out of that one. There you go. This is exhausting. Ha! Uh, you made a punny. <laughs> okay, so this pipe goes up over the axle inside the frame at the top. So I read, I had read that uh, this was kind of a bad design because people were worried about the axle hitting the pipe if the suspension compressed the whole way. Uh, so like, but it's up inside the frame at the top. So even if you had a full load or you hit a big bump and the, the suspension compressed and bottomed out up against the frame, there's a bumper, you know, like a big rubber bumper up here. Um, it wouldn't matter because this exhaust is up inside the, the frame. So I don't think the axle will hit it. 
and again that would be an extreme circumstance you would have to bottom out the entire suspension so we're good this uh this is inside the hanger here this rubber factory mount and we'll just tighten this up on the muffler hand tight we'll be good to go okay everything's done uh, we ran out of daylight yesterday so kind of couldn't film anything but i got everything fitted together lined up and then i just finished tightening everything down i did not put the chrome tips on the end because they have a weird clamp so i'm going to wait take this whole thing over to my buddy clark's and we're going to weld everything together so it's all one piece otherwise when you have an exhaust system and multiple pieces like this and they all have clamps and stuff eventually something's going to vibrate loose and you're going to lose your exhaust on the road so we're going to weld it up and make sure it's legit Well, I made it over to Clark's and uh, he's building himself some exhaust brackets for his Mustang. One bracket. Three, what do we got going on in here? I've lost a drill bit already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we gotta go to the store, get some batteries for the helmet, cause the, uh, can't weld without that. All right, we got batteries for the helmet. <laughs> now we should be able to weld. Three stores later. <laughs> Three stores later. The Mustang right there, the frame rails on it, all galvanized. And when I went to box them all in, <laughs> oh man, what a mess. This little pipe looks like I could put some more heat to it. Bump that Are they stainless? Oh, I bet they're stainless. It'll be pretty, but it'll be functional. Seems like it's on there. I guess since I wasn't expecting it to look pretty, I didn't even know I was running myself out of hard run. <laughs> Try to lift up on this a little bit. All right. take as much uh, hassle as we thought it might. Everything welded up great. Clark did an awesome job. And uh, so we're good to go. And that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs>